Every child could sing verses about the Sky Ripper, but ancient codices held hints of other things. A stone that ate souls, a ruby that drank blood, a jewel only a righteous man could give away. Were all these things the Iblis Stone? Long hidden in a buried temple, another ancient item that was only resurfacing now, drawn up from the deeps by the Emperor's horrific rituals, Bernard had a lot of crafting materials. Now all he needed was a crafting bench. here tasted bitter. The steps were too tall for a person. The entire place felt restless, like it had been vexed to nightmare under the dust, waiting for its hour to come around at last. They were still searching for a way in. Good. Then he hadn't come too late. He was more and more extraordinary. He said, and died.
Yoshi were really very well made, weren't they? found a Superman issue number one in mint condition in a jar he'd broken. He planned to keep breaking things until he had the whole series. Felt like Tarzan. other guy. Fresh socks, thought Ronaldo. Please be fresh socks.
ravens at least could not get past this point. Obviously the temple builders knew how to deal with tomb raiders. This was much easier than free climbing. reflected no light, like a void made solid. Nervous, he picked it up. I can make you mighty. Who said that? It was the stone, eager, thirsty. That seemed tempting and terribly wrong. Zenobia was the Emperor's greatest general and a potent witch. But they had been close once, and Renardo wasn't sure he really wanted to be Emperor. Why not capture the core of Sky Ripper instead? It was the eye of a lost god torn out by the transcendent Emperor to power his greatest weapon. What's the core? Said the stone anxiously. to a talking rock. Ah, but the rock had a point. If the stone could truly turn him into a powerful warrior, he could defeat the Emperor with the very weapon the wicked old toad had sought for himself. To be a hero, you had to sacrifice old friends sometimes, especially when they've become enemies. <laughs> <laughs> 